Watch it. Yeah, Oliveira had a beat on it. You can't really fault the referee for making that call. Espinosa just wedged his way in there. Oliveira was going to beat him all to the ball with the exception of Ceballos. Either way, you cannot be the referee on the field. He's got the whistle, hasn't he? Oh, boy. What a big decision. Either way, thankfully for Victor Pua, it goes in his favor. Still some rumblings from the Ecuadorian defenders. And I can tell you now, the yellow did go to Raul Guerron, the first player booked in the match. But more importantly, here is the opportunity for Uruguay to turn this World Cup qualifying thing on its head. It looks like it's Oliveira, the man who earned the penalty kick, who's going to take it. Late in the first half, a chance to go one up in hostile conditions. Ceballos knows how important it is. As do all the fans here. Oliveira! Tribute to the man of the call, the Lion of Judah. And in the 44th minute, Uruguay spoiling the party. This fan egging on the Ecuadorian supporters. He says, hit me as much as you want with your trash. The bottom line is, we're up in front. Ceballos guess right, but Oli Leda's finish was perfect. Watch his reaction. Oh, how sweet it is. Right before the half, a lightning bolt. Pushed it wide. Aided a bit, of course, by Carini. Obregón, De La Cruz. Victor Pua is going to make his second adjustment. Has Carlos Morales off the bench. Delgado, curling out. Aguinaga.
We still have about 16 minutes to go. Apparently, Felipe Ramos is allowing them to celebrate a little longer than usual. No cautions have been.